Let me ask you something most doctors won't. Can constantly low testosterone levels structurally harm your penis over time, independent of how much you want sex? I'm Dr. Stefan Buntrock, one of the most copied urologists on YouTube. And the answer is yes. And it's not about libido, it's about tissue maintenance. If my content resonates with you and you don't want to miss future uploads, subscribe or even become a member. Because on Euro Channel, I educate you on details you won't hear anywhere else. And if you do, they probably copied it from me. Let's talk about a structure all of you have in your hands every day. Few of you know its name, the corpora cavernosa, the spongy erectile tissue inside your penis. It fills with blood during an erection and it isn't static. It's a living structure made of smooth muscle cells, collagen and elastin. And testosterone? Testosterone is the maintenance program that keeps that structure intact. Think of it this way. Your penis is like an engine. Testosterone isn't the fuel, it's the oil, the coolant, the system that prevents the cylinders from seizing up. When T levels drop, the smooth muscle starts to atrophy. The elastic fibers get replaced by stiff collagen. The tissue becomes fibrotic, less compliant, less responsive. A 2017 study published in the World Journal of Men's Health showed exactly this in men with androgen deprivation. Reduced smooth muscle content, increased fibrosis, smaller penile diameter. The structure physically changes. And here's where it gets interesting. Testosterone also regulates the molecular machinery that controls erections. Research published in endocrinology demonstrated that it maintains the expression of nitric oxide synthase, the enzymes that trigger smooth muscle relaxation and blood flow. It also controls PDE5 expression, the very receptor that drugs like Viagra target. If your T is low, your tissue becomes desensitized to PDE5 inhibitors. You're essentially trying to unlock a door when half the locks are missing. Clinical trials back this up. A 2017 meta-analysis in sexual medicine reviews found that men with documented hypogonadism who failed Viagra alone showed significant improvement when testosterone replacement therapy TRT was added. Penile ultrasound studies published in the Journal of Sexual Medicine demonstrated that TRT restored arterial inflow and improved venal occlusion, the penis's ability to trap blood. In one clinical trial, 65% of hypogonadal men with venal occlusive dysfunction saw complete resolution after TRT. This is structural repair, not placebo, not libido, hemodynamics. But there's a catch. Please listen up, because this makes all the difference. This only works in men with low testosterone. If you have normal levels, the magic doesn't unfold. Exactly that is a widespread myth. If some testosterone is good, more must be better, right? Wrong. There is no evidence that supraphysiologic testosterone levels, the kind you get from bodybuilding level doses, improve erectile tissue health. In fact, they may harm it. High dose testosterone increases red blood cell production, which thickens the blood. Thicker blood means worse microcirculation. Worse circulation means chronic penile ischemia, oxygen deprivation. And ischemia is the final common pathway to fibrosis. The studies on supraphysiologic dosing and penile tissue are sparse, but we know this. A 2021 review in healthcare documented that cardiovascular strain, elevated hematocrit above 54%, and endothelial dysfunction all increase with high-dose testosterone use. These are not friends of penile longevity. TRT works beautifully when it's used for the right reason. And the right reason is biochemical hypogonadism. Total testosterone below 12 nanomoles per liter with symptoms like fatigue, mood changes, or reduced erections. Measured several times, on separate days in the early morning hours, very important. In that population, TRT restores nocturnal erections, improves rigidity, and objectively reverses tissue damage. But if your testosterone is normal, TRT won't improve erectile function. The TRAVERSE trial, 
the largest randomized controlled trial of TRT to date, published in 2023, confirmed this. No erectile benefit in men with normal T levels. None. If your T levels are fine, the fix isn't hormonal. It's mechanical, metabolic, sometimes emotional. Blood flow, insulin sensitivity, sleep, stress, nitric oxide bioavailability. You don't lose because you don't need TRT. You win because your system still works. So what's the order of operations? First, foundations. Sleep seven to eight hours, improve metabolic health, lose visceral fat, control blood sugar, support vascular health, exercise, eat nitrate-rich foods, manage blood pressure. Second, if erections are still insufficient and you want pharmaceutical support, PD-5 inhibitors like Viagra or Cialis. These work in 70 to 80% of men with intact vascular systems. Third, only if your total testosterone is low, confirm twice fasting morning sample, and only if you have symptoms, then TRT. With proper monitoring, hematocrit below 54%, PSA surveillance, cardiovascular risk assessment, blood thickness or high hematocrit can be a problem. I have a few patients with that issue. It increases stroke risk and other unpleasant events. The 2025 European Association of Urology guidelines are explicit on this. TRT is indicated for hypogonadism, not for erectile dysfunction in men with normal T. TRT is a precision tool, not a blanket solution. And it comes with responsibility. Blood work every three to six months in the first year, then annually. Here's what I want you to remember. Testosterone preserves structure. It maintains smooth muscle. It keeps your erectile tissue compliant and responsive. But excess testosterone doesn't make you superhuman. It stresses the system. The goal is physiologic normalization, not maximization. Real penile longevity isn't a vial. It's in how you maintain the machine. So here's your take home message. I know in the States there are a lot of clinics for male rejuvenation. You just stick your head through the door and testosterone is flying at you. That's not the European style and I don't think serious doctors work that way. Please bear that in mind. So how do you train your penis for longevity? <laughs> Go to sleep. But before, watch this video. I'm Dr. Stefan Bontrock, always copied never matched.